Okay, so let's have a look at the Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths Paper 2, 2002, and this is question 5. A survey on remote learning was carried out on a random sample of 400 students. 135 of the students preferred remote learning over in-person training. For parts A, 1, 2 and 3, give all solutions as decimals correct of four decimal places. Work out the proportion of the sample that preferred remote learning. Okay, so this is very straightforward. Really, this is a proportion type question. So we're looking at what's called a p hat and it is 135 over 400. So to four decimal places, uh, it's 0 0.3375 to four decimal places. Okay, so that's part A done. Let's have a look at part B. It says use the margin of error 1 over root n to create a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of the population that preferred remote learning. Okay, so what we're going to do here is work out P, the population proportion. So it's going to be greater than, less than the P hat uh, pl uh, minus the margin of error and p hat plus the margin of error. So in our particular case, we've got p hat of 0.3375, that's the sample proportion, 0.33575 actually. And we've got to subtract one over the square root of n. Remember, they sampled 400, so it's uh, one over 400. On this side, same thing, but this time we're adding. So the p hat is 0 0.3375. We're adding the margin of error now, so it's 1 over the square root of 400 on this side. So when you do that on both sides, on the left-hand side, if you do that, you get 0 0.2875. Again, this is to four decimal places. And on the right-hand side, you get 0.3875. Okay, so that's uh, that part of the question done. Now it's unusual to see 1 over root n, uh, at higher level anyway, but um, that's what they've asked us to do. There is a more accurate way of doing it, and I think this is what we're going to do in part 3. Using the proportion from part A1, create a 95% confidence interval for this population proportion that is more accurate than the 95% confidence interval based on the margin of error. Okay, so this is where we use the more accurate version of the margin of error. So again, we'll just write down our formula, if you like, for the uh, confidence interval. So it's going to be p hat minus 1.96 times the square root of p hat 1 minus p hat over n. And on this side, it's the same thing, but this time we're going to add... 1.96 times the square root of p hat, 1 minus p hat, divided by n. So let's work all this out. We've got p, population proportion then, is going to be somewhere between 0 0.33, what was it, 0 0.3375 minus 1.96 times the square root of 0 0.3375, 1 minus 0 0.375, all over n, which was 400. On this side, it's the same thing again, but this time we're adding 0 0.3375 plus 1.96 times the square root of 0 0.3375, 1 minus 0 0.3375, divide by n, which was again 400. So again, this is just a lot of calculator work. Uh, but on the left hand side, what you should get is 0 0.2912, 0 0.2912, again to four decimal places. And on the right hand side, 0 0.3838, 0 0.3838. So I think that's all we had to do using the proportion from part A1, create a 95% confidence interval for this population proportion that is more accurate. So this is more accurate 
uh, it's a more accurate formula. So you can see on the left hand side up here we got 0.2875 down here a little bit tighter 0.2912 on the right hand side 0 0.3875 0 0.3838 so slightly uh, tighter confidence interval using the more accurate uh, method. Okay so let's move on then to this part of the question. I think this is a hypothesis test. So in 2019 people with a prepay mobile phone plan spent on average mean of €20.79 on their mobile phone each month. Uh, in 2021 some students carried out a survey to see if this figure had changed. They surveyed a random sample of 500 people with prepay mobile phone plans. For this sample the mean amount spent per month was €22.16 with a standard deviation of 812 carry out an hypothesis test at a 5% level of significance to see if this shows a change in the mean monthly spend on mobile phones for people with prepaid plans. State your null hypothesis, your alternative hypothesis, your conclusion and give a reason for your conclusion. So in the exam they give you titles for null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, calculations, conclusion and reason for conclusion. So the null hypothesis This was the first title that they gave you in your answer section for this question. Uh, so the null hypothesis is usually given by H0 and in our case it's the mean is equal to 20 euros 79 cents. That's this figure up here. In 2019 people with prepay mobile phone plans spent on average 20 euros 79. So this is what the average was and we want to see has it changed two years later. So the second one then is the alternative hypothesis. And this is usually called, called H1 and this is that the mean is not 20.79 that it has actually changed. The next uh, title that they gave us was calculations. Okay, so usually what I do is I write down the information, just summarize the information that we're given. So the information that we're given is that the mean is 20.79, or at least that's what it was in 2019. The sample size is 500. The sample mean, the mean of the sample, was this amount here in 2021. For this sample, the mean amount spent per month was 22.16. So this is your X bar, 22 euros 16. And the standard deviation for this, standard deviation for this sample mean then is. 8.12 euros. So that's everything we need. Uh, now what we're going to do is just work out a test statistic. The test statistic is Z. The formula for that is X bar minus mu divided by sigma over square root n. So the, the um, X bar is 22 euros 16. You've got to subtract the population mean from the previous uh, from 2019. That's 20.79. Got to divide by sigma, which is 8.12, which is divided by the square root of 500. Now, when you work that out, you get 3.77. And it actually goes on for quite a bit. Okay, so you can see that's well over the 1.96. Uh, in actual fact, I think your tables only go up as far as uh, Z values of 3, so plus or minus 3, so we've gone well over that here. So we're well outside the normal area, we're in the, well into the critical area at this stage. Okay, so that's our test, that's our calculation finished. The conclusion then that we're going to make. 
conclusion that we're going to make, because this is greater than 1.96, we're going to reject the null hypothesis. reject the null hypothesis, so we're going to say that there is evidence to suggest that the mean spend that the mean spend, well we'll actually say monthly spend on mobile phones with a pre-pay plan has changed. So we're going to reject the null hypothesis because there is evidence to suggest that the mean monthly spend on mobile phones with a prepay plan has changed. Okay, so that was the conclusion. The reason for the conclusion was the last title that they gave. So the reason for the conclusion. Reason for the conclusion. Uh, 3.77 is greater than 1.96 and is in the critical region. So you could take that a little bit further if you want, just draw a little sketch. So this would be zero here, this would be minus 1.96, this is 1.96 here, so this region here and this region down here, these are the critical regions. And that's really it for this question.